Hi there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your Class B and B Plus RV specialists. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440 Ohio RVs. Myself or my brother Levi would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full service dealer offering warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give me or my brother Levi a call at 440 Ohio RVs. Again, that's 440-644-6787. For sale today, we have a 2010 Pleasure Way Excel TS MMX with 36,221 miles. All right, folks, here we are inside of this 2010 Pleasure Way Excel TS. As usual, we'll start in the front, work our way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are a family owned and operated dealership since 1976. Our mom and dad, Ron and Kathy, started the dealership here. And today, my brother Levi and I are in charge of the main operations. Our brother in law, Greg's, in charge of the shop. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions. Without any further ado, we'll get going on the RV here. We've got a fantastic fan in the center that runs on the coach battery. It can be used like an attic fan at night to bring the cool outside air in. We've got about 73 inches of headroom. We've got a mix of carpet and hard surface flooring. So you got the tile flooring style in the center and the carpet in the back and also in the front. We've got table mount here in the front. We've also got a table mount in the rear. There's a circular table in here. There's also a rectangular table inside of the closet here. We'll see that later on in the tour. Nice, easily accessible entryway. Got a stash spot in the door. Fire extinguisher. Got some light switches for the ceiling lights and the porch light. Got a window that opens. It does not have a screen. We've got a mark on the entry door here. I'll check and see if the guys can work on that a little more, maybe get that to come out. We've got a levels test here, so you can test the levels in your gray, black, freshwater tank, your coach battery, and your water pump. Got your generator start-stop switch. It's an Onan 2800 generator with 32 hours. Has a fresh service, fresh oil change. We've got the water heater on-off switch here, so that will light automatically. This light will come on momentarily, letting you know it's not lit, and that will go out letting you know it's lit. Got a noxious gas detector, another light switch. Got some storage area up here. Moving into the kitchen area now. Got your water pump down there. The clear plastic tube is a winterizing kit to make that easier when the time comes. Got a three-way Dometic fridge freezer. It's controlled via the buttons on the front. It's a three-way meaning AC, so your plug-in or your generator. DC, meaning your coach battery or propane gas. You've got your coach, coach battery disconnect down here. That will disconnect your coach batteries from the rest of the RV. You'll do that when you're storing this RV to avoid parasitic draw. It will also disconnect the charging systems, which are the shore power plug-in, the generator, and the alternator while you drive. You've got your propane furnace, two drawers. You've got a two burner propane cooktop. You've got nice Corian countertops. Single basin stainless sink. Got a window that opens with a screen on the lower portion. A little spice rack. Nice aluminum backsplash behind the stove. Coming back to the rear of the RV, we have a TV antenna here. So crank that TV antenna up to use that. You do not want to drive around with the TV antenna up. Got some power connections coming in there. The delicious maple flavored cabinetry in this one. Got your manuals there. Minimal blemishes on the cabinetry and throughout on the inside. I'm not seeing very much to call out here. A couple minor scratches that the camera's maybe not even picking up exactly. Kind of hard to see unless you have the right lighting. Got the overhead air conditioner. It's controlled via the controls on the front of the unit. You have to be plugged in or running the generator to use that. 
We got windows that open on both sides with screens on the lower portions. The Excel TS model is a power sofa. So you're gonna push a button over here and this sofa is gonna come down on its own to make it easy to go to bed. This unit's designed to have two twin sleepers like this. You can make up a big bed in the back and potentially sleep a third person in the middle or potentially sleep three people this way. I'm gonna go ahead and drop some pictures so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements. The twin sleepers measure approximately 72 inches long and 26 inches wide. This is a very popular sleeping setup in a camper van as it allows you to easily swing your legs out at night and go to the bathroom without crawling over one another. If you make up the big bed in the back, it will measure approximately 72 inches front to back and 80 inches side to side. This unit is technically designed for two, but you could potentially sleep three people lying either direction in this bed if so desired. We've got some storage below the couches in the rear on both sides. We have your fuse panel here. This is nice because this breaks this down into your AC items. So they are breakers like you have in your house and your DC items. So this is your shore power plug-in or your generator. Everything's labeled what's running off of that. And this is the stuff that's running off of the coach battery. We've got a 110 outlet down here and a noxious gas detector. Here we are sitting in the couch bed at the rear of the RV. I grilled a chicken for two hours. It still wouldn't tell me why it crossed the road. We've got the thermostat that controls the propane furnace here, light switch for some of the TV lights. We've got two seat belts in the rear as well, so there's four total seat belts in this unit. We've got speakers in the back and reading light controls on both sides. So I'll flip you around here so you can see the other side and another reading light and speaker here. These speakers are run to the TV, so whatever you're watching on the TV will play through those speakers. Got a DVD player here. This switch turns the TV setup on and off as a whole. Got the power switch for the sofa bed in the rear here. Also the two rear windows on the very back of the coach do not open. So the TV swivels out to face the front. This is nice because it allows you to watch TV from the front as both chairs up here swivel. The passenger seat's gonna be a lot better seat as this will have this cabinet and the steering wheel in the way that will prevent it from getting as good of a position. But you can watch TV from the front if someone's still sleeping. You got an inverter back here. So the inverter will allow you to watch the TV off of the coach battery. So it's nice while you are driving down the highway, kids can sit back here and watch TV or while you're boondocking. Got a 12 volt outlet here, 110. We've also got some of your TV remote controls. Got a smoke detector up here. Going to flip into the world famous Pleasure Way wet bath here. This is quite a popular bathroom style for a camper van. Nice, easy entryway up in here. Yep, that is a porcelain stool. Basically, this is one wet room where you're going to pull the shower curtain around you on this track. You're going to shower right in this room. Got a medicine cabinet that does open. 110 outlet, got your shower head there. Got your bathroom sink. Got the stink vent here, so you got a screen window on the lower. Get some storage here, as well as three drawers. Sorry about that, I had a little camera malfunction, but here I am now sitting inside of the bathroom. So while it's not as big as the Caesars Palace bathrooms, it's definitely serviceable. I am 6'3", about 230 to 240, so not a small guy. Got a wardrobe closet here, so you can hang your clothes up top. This is the board that you can use to make up the big bed in the back. Got two table legs and the larger rectangular table here. Up here, got a little spot beside the microwave. Some storage up here. This is where you can see the air pressure in the rear airbag suspension and you can also adjust that individually on each side there. We have the privacy curtain. So you can slide all the way around on this track to block off the front of the coach. All in all, a real nice unit here. Minimal blemishes. It's gone through our full inspection process. I'm not seeing a whole lot to call out on this one. Very clean inside and out. I'm gonna call this one a nine to a nine and a half out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976. Up here in the cabin area, we have power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Got nice clean upholstery on the 
driver and passenger chairs both. Not seeing any burn marks or noticing any signs of smoking, although some folks have magic noses and can tell more than others. I'm gonna call this one a non-smoker. The cigarette lighter is unused. Alrighty folks, we're gonna go around the outside of this 2010 Pleasure Way Excel TS. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper. It has an 11 foot manual Fiamma awning. It has four brand new tires. This RV is built on a Ford E350 chassis with a 5.4 liter V8 engine with 36,221 miles. Got minimal blemishes on this unit. Very good looking exterior. Right there's one about the only spots. There's much noticeable crinkling or anything like that on the stripes. So very, very good looking unit here. Got the back of the refrigerator, porch light, furnace exhaust, that's your coach battery. We do have the actual alloy rims on this one. Got two outlets so you can plug things in beneath the awning. Storage space. Coming around to the back of the RV, we have a full size spare underneath. We have these chucks here that you can use to check or inflate, deflate the pressure in the rear airbags. Got some storage space beneath the couch in the rear. Got your awning crank and center rafter. Coming around to the driver's side here, we've got the gravity fill for the onboard fresh water tank, the back of the water heater, storage spot, sewer hose storage. Got an outside shower here. This is nice to watch, wash your shoes off at the beach or kids or pets. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. We have your cable TV and city water connection here. The sewer dump, propane tank, Shore power connection. Got an Onan 2800 generator here that has a first fresh service and fresh oil change by our certified Onan technicians. And we have the generator exhaust here. Again, a really, really nice looking unit here. When we moved into our new office in 2019, we started keeping track of where our wonderful customers were coming from. We'd like to say a big thanks to Mary for flying in from Anchorage and marking Alaska off our list. She'll be enjoying some time with her family here in the lower 48 before making the long trek back home.